Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. I've been a lazy son of a gun. I would usually cuss there, but uh, YouTube apparently like censors your videos. I don't know. I don't actually make money just yet, but uh, that's what they say. You know, like the first minute you're not supposed to cuss. Anyway, guys, if you're new here, um, you know, just quickly got to do the little YouTuber plug so we can actually talk about good content instead of my crappy content. But if you're here for the first time and actually do like this content and it helps you in any sort of way, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. I usually don't ask for that too, too much, but it does help out a ton. I think it's about 90% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, and that's really, really bad. That's way worse than your big streamers that complain when only 50 you aren't subscribed. Huh, that was a lot, but hey, it's Mutt Monday, and uh, Mutt Monday, uh, as I predicted in my last Mutt Monday, uh, was going to fail eventually, and it fell for like two weeks, and I'm very disappointed in myself, more disappointed than my parents are in me. Uh, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk about how solo battles is the best way, is one of the best ways to get rewards and coins right now in Madden 21, even though it's been broken for a little bit. So, if you haven't played solo battles, it is uh, um, where you play these different teams. You've got four of them. It refreshes three times throughout the week. That's 12 total games. And you get one featured opponent. That makes it 13 in a week. You will try to grind your way through to get certain amount of points and you'll get rewards. And although the rewards aren't very good, once you hit about MVP, and uh, that's when it starts. Uh, All-Star and MVP is where it starts to uh, mean something. Now, um, this most of the time isn't for the faint of heart. I actually got a good roll here. Uh, most of the times you'll get like a 90 overall squad. Uh, my first just, um, isn't too bad. So if I were to play the Ravens here, uh, just for people who haven't, you want to play on Legend. Um, you could play on MVP, but I mean, look at the difference. Um, basically, the whole point of this is to play on the hardest difficulty and win. Legend is just like franchise on um, all men. It's difficult, but if you play your play style, you'll be just fine. Especially on the lower overall teams, like the 76 overall team, I'll absolutely crush them. I'll probably beat 50. I'll put up 50 points. Now, the game rewards are... Um, the game, yeah, game rewards are um, you win, how many points you win by, and your bonus. Um, and like a user skill bonus. So, on Legend, if you, all you do is you win by one point, you'll get 2,000, or 21,600 points. If you take our handy dandy phone here, as we pull it down, 216. Uh, that number times 13 will put you at 280,000. So assuming you win all of your games, just by that you would put yourself in the legend category. 44, so 44,000 coins, 60 trophies. If we go into our, you know, Logan had to help me out. Midfield back. Packs you can quick sell them for ten thousand each, so you're up to sixty four thousand. And red zone packs are twenty five thousand each. That would put you at what a hundred and a hundred and fourteen thousand points and sixty trophies. Two hail mary packs for what they're worth, and a weekend league entry event. If you don't understand what I mean, midfield, red zone, and touchdown packs um you can actually quick sell them or take the uh the cards in them you should just quick sell and get your points there now you might not be the best at the game and i understand that the highest i've gotten is mvp mvp you would get 33,000 coins add another 10 onto that makes it 43 and another 25 I don't know math too well, but that seems to be, what, 78,000? But you also get a weekend league event 
entry. If you've been struggling to qualify for Weekend League, this is a really good method to get there. Um, but if you're struggling to qualify for Weekend League, you're probably not ready for Weekend League. Let's just be honest. It's the sweatiest of sweats. But even if you just play casually and you play, what, four, let's see, 20,000. I mean, if you just play eight of your games and win them, you can get all-star. You'll get 30,000 coins. Uh, 30 trophies, and you'll get some packs. You, you quick sell that, you get 40,000 coins, 30 trophies, and a chance to get even more coins at the two Hail Mary packs. That's not bad, and that's very good. Um, sometimes it can be a little time consuming, uh, and you definitely can get frustrated. But another thing that we haven't even went over is your featured opponent is a battle score boost. Uh, if I click on it, it's not going to uh, tell me how much it is that's not much of a battle score boost so uh that's interesting wait let's see real quick i wonder why the battle score actually helps you if you're not as good for the featured opponents it seems to be unless i'm just missing something no there's not much of a big difference down here but up in these rookie, pro, and veterans, you can make about double uh, on your feature game than you would just a regular game. Now, if you're lucky to, to crack the top 100, which um, isn't quite honestly too bad, let's go ahead and take this top person and we will calculate their score with a little of a rough estimate. They're getting 26 thousand points a game the number one person but he also got his featured opponent done so obviously he's playing on legend legend um but also use your bonus um you know when you play well you'll actually get more points it's it's the user skills so if you get interceptions user picks user sacks you get touchdowns that'll help bump up your score and even make um and make your battle score win even better and especially when you add on the extra you know bonuses you know I've seen myself get almost a thousand user points in a really good game plus I was playing on legends so that actually turned out to be two thousand extra and I got about what twenty twenty five thousand and so that's kind of on par with what these guys are getting at the top of the ranks uh, and again, you know, a lot of these, obviously they're winning all of their games, but they also played, they played, you know, as many as they can so far, but, you know, we're, we're getting down and it's really not that hard to get into the top 100. It doesn't seem, it doesn't appear, you know, if you're a competent Madden player, we're getting towards the bottom here. And, you know, we'll take Mr. Swanton here at a hundred and one, one, five. Five zero zero. We'll just round because it's easier. He's only getting twenty three thousand. So, um, obviously he's won all of his games, but you know you win all your games too and beat them by decent amounts. Uh, you might struggle on some of the higher tier teams, but if you blow out your lower overall teams, you can be right around that top one hundred. And once you hit top one hundred, you know your rewards jump a ton. I think touchdown packs are fifty k. Quick sell. You already had 150k quick sell. 100,000 coins. That's 250. Your midfield and red red zone. Your red zone. You're gonna add another 50. I mean, you quick sold everything. You would get 320,000 coins. 100 trophies. You get your weekend league entry and still two Hail Mary packs. Uh, but your touchdown packs, you can use them. Uh, and somehow, if you cracked it all the way, I mean, he, the rewards are really good. Once you get to All Star and up, uh, you know, you are you're starting to make some money. And I mean, it's free; it doesn't cost you anything. This is a really great way to get a ton of coins, and I highly suggest it. If you guys want me to kind of go over, I think one stream, uh, maybe we'll stream later in the week. Um, if you guys pay attention, turn those post notices on. That's why. Um, but, you know, you ever see me streaming, I'll kind of go through what I do. And if you guys just want a whole video on me playing through one and kind of talk about what I do, just let me know down in the comment section. With that being the end of the video, I do hope you enjoyed. 
Um, yeah, we did some math. It wasn't anything fun, but this is a really good way to make a ton of coins. And with that being said, I've got to go to work on 40 minutes. Still have to eat, make a thumbnail, um, edit the video. So, uh, good for me. But I did my homework earlier, so that's one thing I did. Alright, uh, and here's the awkward uh, outro. See ya.